Hello and welcome to Navi String Stop. Now I know you're wondering, where is Libby? Well, Libby has taken the Easter break off and she's gone to spend some time with her friend Karen. So I'll be doing the next two weeks on my own until after the Easter break, Libby will return. Now, for the Easter weeks, we will be doing non-alcoholic drinks. Now, some people may call it virgin drink. Some call it temperance drink or mocktails. They're all the same. It's basically non-alcoholic drink that we will be serving. Now, if you do not celebrate Easter, that's fine. Just think of it as maybe you're keeping a party or a barbecue. There's always people there who will not consume alcohol. So they have to feel part of that party. So these are tips that you could use to provide something for those people that do not drink alcohol. Now remember, this is a drink stop. So we do alcoholic, non-alcoholic, punches, everything is done here because we're an all-inclusive drink stop. Everyone can stop and there is something there for everyone. So this is the opportune time during the Easter period to introduce mocktails or virgin drinks or temperance drink or whatever word you want to call them. And I am looking forward to it. It is also very fashionable nowadays to go to bars and see a mocktail menu. And we're doing likewise at Navi's Drink Stop. So for today's mocktail, we're going to be doing the Sunrise Mocktail. Now, your ingredients for the Sunrise Mocktail is orange juice. Now, you can, if you don't want to use orange juice, you can use pineapple juice but it has to be a yellow juice. There's a reason for that and I'll explain later. So I'll be using orange juice but as I said you can use pineapple juice if you want. Next we'll need ginger ale. Now the base for most mocktails is either soda water, ginger ale, ginger beer, or some form of fizzy drink. Um, I'll be going for ginger ale in this one because it tastes better. And thirdly, we need grenadine. Now, grenadine is used in most cocktails as well but it's a non-alcoholic sugar based like a syrupy kind of thing you'll find those in shops or online but that's what we need and we need cherry for garnishing that's all it's a simple um mocktail the other option instead of ginger ale, some people might consider using non-alcoholic wine because that will give the drink a more grown-up taste. So if you want, you can use non-alcoholic wine. I'm going for what most people will be able to get their hands on. So all your ingredients together, let's get ready to make our sunrise mocktail.
Now, if you notice, I did not give you any measurements for the mocktail. And the reason why is because it depends on what glass you're going to use. The measurement is basically half of the base, which is the ginger ale, and half of the orange juice. So whatever you're using is half and half, and that's the measurement. I think you will notice why we needed a yellow drink by now as well. Because when the grenadine goes in, it's meant to have the look of like this orangey yellowy sunrise. And that's why it's called sunrise mocktail. If you put any other color in there, you're not going to get that same effect. And remember, when we went to school, two primary colors give you a secondary color. Red and yellow give you orange. That's basically it. So that's what that was. I hope you enjoy the video and see you on the next one. Thank you. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and press the notification bell for you to get the videos as soon as I drop them. Leave your comment in the comment section and thank you for watching. This is Navi saying it's been a pleasure sharing a drink with you all. Thanks for stopping at Navi's Drink Stop and remember, drink responsibly. Until we meet again for another drink, bye bye and ta-da!